Yeah, we're at the track covering the sport of kings. Coming up in this week's show. Trophy and cup races at Caymanus Park honoring Jamaican horses who impacted TNT racing at Santa Rosa Park as well. The speed of the new Barbados five furlong track record holder at the Garrison Savannah. And big stakes wins in Canada for the evergreen Patrick Husbands, another Barbadian rainsman, the multiple Garrison Savannah champion Rashid Hughes and ex-TNT champion Ronald Alley. Plus the usual check in another Caribbean victories in North America. Our opening story coming from Jamaica. Where Saturday's co-feature race was run in honor of the late Ilan Salute's history-making double derby winner Terry Moto, who scored in both the Jamaica and TNT derby races in 1998. Ten horses entered for the nine and a half furlong trip. The one horse, Midnight Galaxy, consistent but winless from four career starts, the favorite, with title-chasing jockey Radish Roman aboard. Three to two the odds for Midnight Galaxy, next best supported in the betting. Number seven, Supremacy at two to one, while Mac and Rome at five to one, and the six to one shot Lady Lauren in post position 11 also came in for support. Kevin Burnside in the com box picks up the favorite, leading them into the home stretch. Midnight Galaxy on that lead out wide. King Pie is really traveling nicely on the outside. And I think King Pie is now at the front. It's King Pie. Mac and Rome right against the rail. It's King Pie and Mac and Rome still there. It's Midnight Galaxy. Princess Piani is right on the rail and trying to come forward. It's a nice looking race coming to the furlong pole. And it is Mac and Rome and Midnight Galaxy coming back for more. Mac and Rome and Midnight Galaxy. This is where the race will be live. And now it's Mac and Rome that goes on. Midnight Galaxy fighting hard. Mac and Rome beats Midnight Galaxy. A rousing finish by Shavon Townsend aboard Mac and Rome, outgunning the favorite in their deep stretch battle. The claiming apprentice aboard a trophy race winner for the third weekend in a row, following scores with Mamma Mia in the Clovis Metcalf, and is that a fact in the Thoroughbred Hall of Fame stakes? Sidney Roman and Lawrence McKinley's Mac and Rome completes a second win in his last three starts for trainer Sackley and Roman. At 5 to 1 odds, he beats the favorite Midnight Galaxy by three quarters of a length and stops the clock at 2 minutes 05.31 for the 9.5 furlong Terramoto Trophy. Saturday's richest event was a big man in town cup, honoring the outstanding Jamaica bred racer trained by Gary Sabrati, who was a TNT Derby winner and a three time TNT Horse of the Year, who won the Rich Caribbean Champion Stakes three times, including 2014, when ridden by word great Frank Editori. Approaching the final bend here, the leading group tightly bunched, but check out leading jockey Tevin Foster positioning for his winning run. Aboard the 5-2 bet, Fred the Great. It is Atlantic Convoy who will bring them into the top of the lane. A quarter of a mile to run. Atlantic Convoy on that lead. Sister and Treasure now bubbling to the boil. Down against the fence. That is a Fred the Great now coming with a charge. But Atlantic Convoy, although drifting off a true line, continues to hold the lead over against the rail. It is Fred the Great and terrific Tevin Foster now who begin to gather momentum. And Fred the Great snatches it. Fred the Great takes that lead and comes away to win the big man in town by almost four. Foster flat and smooth in the saddle for his third win aboard this four-year-old colt who he has never lost with. Foster closes an afternoon double four weekends in a row now. There's been stakes or trophy success for champion and leading trainer Jason Da Costa. Malayda Zan's Fred the Great scores in the big man in town cup with authority by three lengths as a 5-2 bet chased by Atlantic Convoy and the favorite Sistrin Treasure. 140.04 the winning time for a mile. A flashback now to the Barbados mid-July meet and a sprint performance by the three-year-old Philly Zazi that is still being discussed. That's because it smashed a Garrison Savannah track record that has stood for 23 years. With top jockey Ricky Walcott aboard in the eight-horse Ginger Lily handicap field, Zazi was coming off an impressive late June five-length win in the four-square rum distillery trophy and was dominant here from the start. Zazi, under 110 pounds with Ricky Walcott is in front. Brenna Pass is in hot pursuit. Renaissance Frolic is in third. Sir Jimmy is the next one through as he pass the quarter pole. And it is still Zazi in front with just about a furl and a half to go. The others are hunting and chasing Zazi as they come to the top of the lane. It's Zazi in front. Brenna Pass on the outside. Renaissance Frolic coming through on the inner. But it is Zazi in front. Brenna Pass is traveling well. But it is Zazi. Zazi will get home. Will she do it? Zazi gets home now. Neil Gill on commentary. What a run by Nalicia Cozier's US bred filly. Impressively repelling deep stretch challenges from the David Seed pair of Renaissance Frolic on her inside and Brenna Pass on the outside to smash the 58 and 2 fifths track record. Set by Raga Noble in April 2001 and equaled by Are You Talking to Me in 2009 
and Federica in 2011. Zazi, seven lifetime wins this. Six from eight starts so far this year for trainer Jean Marcosier and groom Harry Carter, slicing two fifths of a second off the five furlong track record. Zazi covers the Ginger Lily five furlong sprint in 58 seconds flat in a half length win as a three to two favorite chased by Renaissance Frolic with Brenna Pass third. To Canada now, where the Barbadian riding ace Patrick Husbands extended his log as Colony Stakes leader at Woodbine with a massive score in Friday's Victoria Stakes for champion trainer Mark Cassie. Husbands was aboard the lesser fancied of Cassie's two entries, but the 51 year old uncorked a front running ride that was as easy as taking candy from a baby. Down the lane with the commanding leaders, Mensa by four lengths to Inter Diamonds. Empowers running on nicely from the back, but a long way behind them. And Mensa's just completely obliterated them. This is a track gallop. Oh my goodness, Mensa's just gonna go to the wire with a ton of horse left. And how easy is that? Mensa in the Victoria Stakes. Nine stakes wins on the Woodbine season now for husbands. Mensa as the eight to five second favorite wins the Victoria by seven and a quarter lengths over the favorite Inter Diamonds in a Cassie 1-2 finish, 104.60, the winning time for five and a half furlongs. Still in Canada, further west though, for two more stakes winning stories for Caribbean jocks from Edmonton, Centre Mall and Winnipeg's Assiniboia Towns. The Count Latham stakes, a prep for next month's Canadian Derby, was Friday's main event at Centre Mile, producing a stirring finish with two champion riders, Jamaican Dane Nelson on the outside and Barbadian Rashid Hughes on the rail, both about to reel in the front-running Ticket to the Top. Down the stretch, one ten and one for Ticket to the Top. It's all good, man. Is gobbling up the ground, Classy City. Skipper's Pride needs to do a lot better than that. It's all good, man. Strikes the lead. Classy City up the inside. Classy City. It's all good, man. It's all good, man. Classy City 10 to 1 in the Count Latham. Not a straightforward win this for Classy City. The three year old coat out of the starting gate stumbled pretty much to his knees and actually lost his left front shoe but Hughes did well and stayed relaxed. In the end, a fine ride by the 27-year-old, over 260 wins in Barbados, and back in Canada this season, nine years after his first stint in the land of the Maple Leaf, a second stakes win at Central Mile for Hughes. Piloting Classy City to victory in the Count Latham by three quarters of a length in a 10 to one upset over the five to one shot, it's all good, man. 144.70, the winning time for eight and a half furlongs. Not to be left out of the spotlight, TNT's 2016 champion jockey, Ronald Alley at Cineboya Downs Tuesday night in the debutant stakes for two-year-old fillies, steering the 72-bet GM Foxy to a gate-to-wire win. Still the leader, GM Foxy. On the outside, sneaky situation, trying to come up the rail. Welcome to Hollywood, but has a lot of work to do. Gee, I'm Foxy, has now sprinted away a sixteenth of a mile to go. Gee, I'm Foxy. A fourth stakes win this season for Ronald Alley at Assiniboia Downs, where he's currently the number three rider behind fellow TNT jock Pravin Badry, also a stakes winner this week and Barbadian Antonio Whitehall. GM Foxy at 72 wins the debutant by six lengths in 101.06 for the five furlong sprint. Almost the entire current colony of riders at Assiniboia are Caribbean, so to see Bajan's Ronaldo Cumberbatch and Whitehall second and third completing the sweep has a familiar look about it. And for a weekly tally of Caribbean wins in the USA and Canada, before we go in the past week since our last show, I've counted 86 victories. Among them, the Barbadian trainer, Safi Joseph Jr., with a $200,000 stakes win at Saratoga on Wednesday, plus five wins at Gulfstream Park, where the Jamaican trainer, Ruan Crichton, also had five wins in the past week as well. The U.S. Virgin Islands veteran rider Kevin Krieger had six wins at Emerald Downs. At Grand Prairie in Canada, the Jamaican jockeys Orlando Foster and Richard Lunan both posted Saturday triples. And the Barbadian apprentice Deshaun Gaskin had four wins between Woodbine and Fort Erie racetracks. We've been at the track covering top stories and exciting races in the sport of kings. Check us out again next week.